so the energy that's surrounding December that is permeating every aspect of your life is the Emperor. So you could be, Aquarius, you could be moving, you could be thinking of changing your location, your home, or, or there could be a shift in the home. Somebody could be coming in, somebody could be going out, but it, it, it has to do with land. So it could also be if you own land, you could be selling it or gaining some land. Uh, but the emperor, you know, rules the roost. You and, and Aquarius, I feel like this is you. This is definitely your energy is that you are coming into your your own. You are creating your kingdom, especially with the chariot. I mean, forging through. I mean, look at that. Just right behind him, you know, is the chariot blazing them to their victory and their destiny. So I feel like you have a... a a better idea of where you want to go and you're not afraid to to go there anymore that you know that it's it's the right thing to do all right let me make sure all the cards are in in the video so you can see them while I'm talking okay so these three cards up here are regarding love so we have the ace of swords then we have the Nine of Swords reversed. And then we have the Fool. So this is a new beginning with someone. You know, uh, with the Ace of Discs, it, it has to do, there's a lot of uh, earthly pleasure that, that kind of comes with, with this new beginning. You guys are happily going out on dates and spending money on each other and you know enjoying the the physicality of one another and and it, and it feels and it feels very comfortable in that regards now that i'm getting the sense though that with this new beginning is some stress and and unease like you're not 100% sure about this relationship and your mind is wandering like kind of thinking in along the lines of is this too good to be true is this you know is this where i should be going because we also have the fool here so you could be like like almost like a fairy tale like everything is happening so well you guys are skipping down roads and gardens and and, and yet there's like this this nagging doubt within your mind you know and so the, that's for people who are starting something new with somebody this month. Now, if you're with somebody already and you guys have an established relationship, it's a new energy that's coming in. And it is the holiday, so you guys could be spending more money on each other, um, wanting to do more actual fun things together. But it could cause worry to you because you feel like you guys just don't have enough to do that and that you feel like it's a little frivolous you know that you know, we should be saving for a house we shouldn't be ice skating you know and so it's like you're worrying that this this um these actions you are taking are going to to you know hold you back in the future but you shouldn't worry about that you should enjoy these aspects of your relationship you know because when the nine of swords is in reverse it's it's worry without without any anything behind it you know it's not really anything to actually worry about i want a quote that i've heard a friend of mine told me years ago is worrying is praying for something not to happen you know so worrying is just a way of you know the the antithesis of what you should be doing if you don't have a relationship or you haven't met anyone, you might meet somebody this month and it might kind of make you apprehensive because you, you once again, it's just like so light and lovely. You don't understand why that's happening, you know? I keep getting like this, like this person who's coming in for you just wants to shower you and love you and you're you're asking him why would you love me what is wrong with you so Aquarius enjoy this person who's coming in if you are the person though who wants to shower someone and they're not receiving it understand that their worry is is not based on fact it's just this 
this worry that they have because they've never experienced this this joy before in career we have the five of cups the eight of wands and the knight of swords reversed okay all right so there's some there's some worries coming in about work that you know you might not be getting the raise you want, you might not be getting the promotion you've been seeking, but there are options coming in. They're just not coming in as fast as you would like. So, you know, with the Five of Swords, it's you're, you're focusing on the negative when there's still things that need to be taken care of and that are positive. So, and, and then I love how this is actually set up here because this this person is looking at these cups and look at, at all these choices behind b behind them instead of focusing on not getting the raise you wanted or get, getting the promotion notice that things are coming in and even though they might be trickling in slow they're still coming in and, and it's actually better that it's coming in a little bit slower because with the knight of swords you can be you, you could be quick on the draw and realize that you shot too soon, okay? Or you made a decision too quickly. A lot of times with the Knight of Swords type energy, it's, you know, shoot first, ask, ask later. So no, having this on, kind of slowing that down is going to allow you time to actually look at the op opportunities that are coming in. Okay. And here we have the Five of Wands, and this is financial, the Magician, and then the Page of Cups. Okay, so you could be fighting with somebody or people over money. And so this could be an inheritance, this could be a lawsuit, uh, you know, something of the, the in the, the arena of you versus a group or you you versus them kind of thing and you you know what i feel like you're going to be just fine because the magician's here and you're going to kind of work your magic the page of cups is in reverse so this is making sure that you aren't acting from a naive space you know um in a way like believing them to be a better person than they are that sounds awful but you know being naive and thinking well you know good people would actually do it this way and then you know the opposite person you know stabs you in the back but I, th I feel like this is um, this is just like a, a forewarning to you of you know make sure that you are like this isn't going to happen that they're going to actually stab you in the back because you have the magician here and so the magician kind of sees all but this is kind of like intuition for you like so if you feel this if you feel this page of cups energy of hmm you know i really feel like people should be acting in a certain regard you know being kinder being more honest but I have this feeling they're not. You should listen to that hunch and look into it, okay? Because you are actually fighting with somebody over finances and you have the capacity to, you know, wheel and deal and, and it come out in your favor. But you have to acknowledge what the situation is before you actually take care of it. Then in health, we have the Queen of Discs page of discs and three of discs and so we have all pentacles here I feel like you could be taking up a new hobby that you're really really great at you know that and that but you don't necessarily feel like you are or you or you do feel like you are actually great at it but it's not gonna it it doesn't do anything for you it doesn't make you any money it doesn't you know solve this issue here of you know of work or relationship 
And so you're looking at it kind of in like a miserly type way, Aquarius, of, wait, I'm getting nothing from this except for physical attribute and joy and happiness. And I'm sorry, that's not worth it. I mean, the emperor is strong in themselves and this is you, you know, you are radiating the strength and honor. And so when you take up this, this new craft, this new, um, hobby that just makes you feel great, it's kind of contradictory to where you want to be right now. It, it's, you know, when you, you're like, I, but I love underwater basket weaving. It just makes me feel so much joy, but it doesn't, that's all it does. And so you're, you're kind of torn in a way, you know, because we have the three of discs and that's people admiring you for the skill that you have, the skill you have. And then the page of discs is bringing in a message for you. And it could be a young energy, but I also feel like in this regard, since it's about health, it's that this is something new for you. And so you feel kind of, you know, like a child in a way in the situation, but it brings you lots of joy and you, and people can, can see your, uh, your capability of it and, are excited for you and you're excited but you just you you know you're having trouble acknowledging it as part of your life because it's not you there's no finite hey look it here is why it's good for me it it's just a feeling that it gives you and that's that's part of the balance you know that you need to make here okay is is finding these joyful aspects and especially with the chariot, the chariot is, you know, a, a lot of balance in there, the black and white, but you have to have that balance here. And here, you know, with the eight of wands, you have a lot of choices, but you can't choose them all. You have to pick and choose. Starting something new, you're, you're you know, you're very, there's certain aspects of it that you're very concerned about, but are they all worth keeping you up late at night so this is this is all about balance and i mean even look at the magician over his head is the you know sign of infinite uh, so it everything is rolling as it's supposed to so yeah keep up with this i really think it'll help you in the long run let's call on the angels and see what added guidance they have for you all right angels Calling on you for Aquarius, December. What message do you have for Aquarius? What message do you have for Aquarius? It's this one right here. Ah, listen to your intuitive feelings. Yes. Absolutely, Aquarius. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So this could also be with um, with listen to your intuitive feelings and with what's going on in your physicality and taking up something new that is kind of confusing to you. This could be a portal for you, you know, to open up your heart space to open you up to allow new things to come in and to clarify some of the situations that you're a little confused about. You know, when you're bickering about money and afraid of your future and not too sure about a relationship, that's a lot for the emperor to hold. And yes, the emperor can carry it because, you know, they rule the land, they know their land, and they are very capable of it. But listen, this is this is important. You've got a you've got some hunches, you've got some ideas brewing in your heart and your your soul. Listen to them. And I think you're you're kind of ignoring them because you feel like there's a lot going on in your life that you just need to make a very clear, concise decision. But you can still make those and listen to your heart space. So this month I wanted to pull from the animal spirit knowledge cards just so that we had, you know, a little animal to guide us through December. Like our animal spirit, our spirit animal. So for Aquarius, what animal can they focus on as uh, support through December? 
and it's the panther. And that's magic, darkness, death. Okay. Uh, so, the, you know, the, the panther represents fer ferocity and courage. It's a mystic symbol of dark energies and rebirth. A panther can wield powerful magic. And that can and it's been known that their pelt can be bring strength to the wearer. Please don't go kill a panther. But this this energy is is quite interesting because it's listening to your intuitive feelings. And when we have the panther here, I don't think it's like going to the dark side. I mean, the magician can definitely go to the dark and the light side, but it's delving deep, and sometimes that's dark. You know, when you have to delve deep, deep, deep into your own soul, sometimes what comes out is not what you anticipated. But I feel like you are definitely Aquarius strong enough to start delving in, even if it's just for a moment, because you have the emperor on your side of strength. So think of this, think of the panther as helping you, you know, go into that, into that heart space to to release the magic of yourself and give away to the habits and the mindset that has been holding you back 